And we'll just unscrew it. Hello there, and welcome to Two Point Hospital. A game that's just been released on Steam, uh, which would have been your yesterday, my today. And uh, now I picked up this game because I think most of the people will agree with me that it is basically theme hospital uh, because it is actually developed by some of the people that was on the original project of a theme hospital. If you don't know what theme hospital is, it is a game that was released back in 1997. Uh, which I used to play a lot of and uh, this is basically its counterpart uh, but obviously for copyright reasons they couldn't use that name and stuff like that so <laughs> but everyone knows <laughs> so uh, yeah uh, let's just uh, get into the game now um, I did play a little bit this morning uh, but I'm going to actually make a new save and we will start again with it let me just delete that uh, there is a little bit of an intro, but there's a little bit of music in the background, so I'll probably have to go around it, as in editing it out. So, yeah, I'll see you uh, on the actual game. At Two Point Hospital, over 50... Okay, so welcome to Two Point County. I'm Albert Crack. I'll be your trusty advisor on this journey. Okay, Albert. This is Hogspot. And your first episode, click on it to get started. Uh, so, yeah, you have to run a hospital. And uh, it's uh, not as boring as it sounds. There's a number of hospitals in this area. Uh, I think there's more to it than just these. Obviously, you've got like, to get a three-star rating on them each. So, uh, yeah, let's start here. This is like the tutorial, but it gets you a, a little bit of a uh, going into it. So, welcome to Two Point County. Are you ready to start building your first hospital and curing some patients? Sure, why not? Uh, looking around the hospital, yeah. I've already done this, so uh, it might be a little bit quick. So, you know, basic controls, move the camera, uh, you can zoom in and out, you can rotate. Uh, it is uh, actually fairly fun. So, first, we've got to build a, a reception area. So, uh, we've got all this front area. Uh, so, let's actually uh, put one up against this wall. So they come in here and go in that way. Okay, so they need an assistant. So let's hire. Now, hiring people, you'll notice that they've got like these traits. Like this guy's got 50% customer service skills. Actually, 100% even. Uh, this one has 50% but increased happiness. You can see the, depending on the hiring cost as well. But they also have their own traits. Like this one has a positive attitude high energy uh, and a level 14 obelisk, obviously a gamer. <laughs> uh, then this guy thinks their life is a rom-com, knows how to swim, or it's romantic, constantly falling in and out of love. Uh, so to quite honest, I think this one relaxed. is the best one quite honest, for my starting hospital anyway. Uh, before we officially open, we need a GP's office. Okay, so let's go to rooms. Uh, now, this is all the space I've got in this particular hospital. So you've got to really manage your space as well. So bear that in mind. So I'm just going to make a small 3x3 three three here with the door on that side. And then you've got the desk. So let's, let's put that, but turn it around and have it somewhere there with a filing cabinet just there. There we go. And we can open it up. More than big enough. Uh, need a GP. 
So we now need to hire a doctor, as good as they are these days. Uh, increased diagnostic skills. You haven't got any training whatsoever. Uh, increased diagnostic skills. Let's have a look. Unhygienic, unmotivated, nasty, doesn't RSVP. Uh, so, unhygienic. Once more money, positive, high energy, slightly above actual. Spice. You know what? Even though no training, I think that one might be the best one. Good news. Hey, we're open for business. So we should have his first patient coming in fairly soon. Not to have dark thoughts. <laughs> and you all get the announcements now and again. So listen to that. Here we are. Here's the first patient. Nothing too major going off with them. This is Ricky Hawthorne. On and, Two Point oh, Radio. I may this is Ricky Hawthorne bringing talk, music, and news. I may need to disable the DJ because there's music now and again. As much as it's funny, uh, you know, I just don't want to be messing around with YouTube. So, yeah, he now speaks to the receptionist. Uh, you can see all those things diagnostic, appointment. Uh, and then he'll knock on the door. Or just walk straight in, how rude. Take a seat without being asked. Uh, yeah, very rude guy. And now he wants some medication. So, uh, let's build here for the area. So, we now need to make a pharmacy. So, get him to wait. And we'll make a pharmacy. Uh, again, probably just a, uh, yeah, we'll do a three by four on this one. And we'll have the door there and the machine that makes all the medicines, which would be nice in real life. Uh, somewhere in this corner, maybe. Yeah, somewhere there. And they can also have a filing cabinet uh, there. And just in case if the machine blows up, you can have a fire extinguisher. Okay, awesome. Uh, so yeah, let's make that. Don't mind me. I just like talking into a microphone. Ah, exactly. Right. Sorry about that. Uh, someone knocking on the door. Uh, so yeah, we need to hire a pharmacist. So I think I'm gonna hire this one. Now we've got a bit of a, a queue now because of, uh, of that, so uh, yeah, uh, we will get things sorted as quick as we can. But while we are waiting for them to do, I'm going to jump ahead a little bit and I'll get these people some seats. Why not? A uh, couple of seats. That one needs to be pushed back a bit. There you go. That should be enough room for them all. <laughs> there we go, and our first patient is now cured. We just cured our very first patient. Woo! Yay! Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, reputation and whatnot. So yeah, yeah, uh, you do need to be careful of people dying because that can ruin your reputation. Or uh, oh yeah, we need to hire a. A janitor, because without janitors, everything falls apart. Treat your janitors, cleaners well. Uh, ghost capture. <laughs> uh, mechanic. That looks like a good one. Uh, likes to argue. Buying us, keeps buying scars, but doesn't use them. Uh, class clown. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect for a janitor. You know, needs to be upbeat. Keep everyone in entertained. Uh, always likes to have an argument, you know. Alright, so, yeah, we are doing pretty decently anyway. Place two fire extinguishers. I've already put one in here. Uh, so let's just put another one near the reception desk. Somewhere there. There we go. Awesome, thank you. So, 
keeping people happy it's important for your staff and patients to be happy uh, they need food and drink and comfy seats so like I say I already did two adventures so we need a leaflet leaflet stand uh, I may put another bench area over here just for them waiting for the doctor and uh, another one another couple just in case if there's a queue to see the receptionist there we go uh, couldn't quite get even case with them staff shortage <laughs> speak to a member of staff yeah exactly right uh, we need to have a leaflet stand can we have it there that's not too bad of an area uh, a drinks machine uh, we can probably put them up against this wall actually it's not a bad idea drinks machine and a snack machine there we go cool uh, and the machine making you pills it like I say it only it was that easy in real life. <laughs> staff and energy books, right? We need to make them a staff room. Uh, so, hmm, staff room. Maybe up here. Let's have a look. Uh, make a staff room. Staff rooms are going to be a four by four. Yeah, why not? Uh, the door can be on this side. Uh, a couch from to lays on there maybe a couple of lockers near the door have their own personal drinks machine a snack machine um, fire extinguisher and a bin and a couple of armchairs so they can sit by themselves, sort of. Okay, so uh, maybe can we put a plant somewhere? There-ish, yeah. That will do. And then when the staff are tired, they can go and have a sit down and have a, get away from it all, as we all need to sometimes from work, or at work. Okay, so. Uh, I think my receptionist is has gone straight to the cafeteria or something. reminded not to believe in ghosts. Um, yeah, not too sure where they've gone actually. Right, anyway, we need to build a turret. So, a room, uh, where should we put the turrets? Probably up here. Near the staff room. We can do that maybe. Uh, a cubicle. Three cubicles. Keep everyone at sorry for the litter that you dropped on our floor. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Uh, hand dryer. Uh, maybe a bin. And uh, just in case a, a fire extinguisher there we go and there we go sorted go. you're gonna get back to work now yeah come on I think there's a there's a queue waiting at least uh, we're going to put some new illnesses in town these might be harder to diagnose we may need to build a new diagnostic room if a GP isn't certain, they will send a patient for further diagnostics. Okay, so let's make a general diagnostics room then. Okay, so... Okay, um, can we fit it in? Maybe there-ish, just a normal, another 3x3. Three three. Uh, have you there? Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so what's this? An E Z scan. There we go. Uh, a bed. Oh, well, it's not a bed, is it? It's a diagnostic bed. Examination table. There we go. Uh, 
fire extinguisher and uh, a bin and maybe a plant as well if we can why not why not indeed and done so i think we're gonna have to hire another gp because sh that one's gone on break so uh, green fingers questions the point of it all okay uh, particularly in a little lightheadedness we're going to need some expensive new equipment to deal with this okay hydrogen looks terribly dull that sounds like a good doctor so let's put you in there to help diagnostic people all right so we need to keep an eye out for any lightheadedness uh, so yeah I think this is rather poorly designed at the moment but <laughs> Never mind. Okay, so we need probably another room. Um, no, not yet. Okay, we've got a ward, but uh, that might be need to be a bit bigger than some others. So let's make it a five by five. Uh, we'll put the door there. This is another nurse's area, so we can put the. Table there, a screen there, and let's spin around. And a bed. Always put a gap in between the beds, uh, or they won't be able to use them. Can I fit another one in the middle? I can. Look at that. <laughs> uh, we can stick a, a locker or two there and uh, a filing cabinet just there with a bin there that looks like a good place and a fire extinguisher there we go i don't think i'll bother with the plant i don't think we've got enough room for it now taking applications so. for a new PA there we go <laughs> yeah now it's telling them that we're getting fired okay uh, so we need another nurse. Best people in doctors. Nurse needed in general diagnosis. Uh, stamina training. Charming, terribly dull, green fingers, more silk than sandwich. No idea what that means, but she sounds fine. Okay, so I need to also make another GP office as well, for whatever reason. Uh, so yeah, let's do the same, a three by three. Uh, we'll put the door down here though. Uh, and Nurse needed in ward. put you there. We should have a ward already. Uh, no, it's in the ward already. Uh, put that there. Uh, a bin. Yeah, it's kind of repetitive sometimes when you've got to do the same stuff, but we should be okay there are more stuff that you can unlock later on but we're fine as we are right there's another gp office so we've got two doctors two gps Calling nurse. Uh, is that one on break did i make the break room too nice uh hospital star rating uh recognized achievements uh yeah okay cool uh, this is about as far as I got with the um, my playthrough earlier. So how we? There we go. There's a the lighthead in this people. <laughs> uh, that's exactly what we've got to here. Yes, that is a light bulb on top of their heads. Oh, <laughs> very cool. Right, and this is the type of things that you've got to do. So we need a deluxe clinic uh, which can probably build over here might just have enough room for it there uh, so yeah we'll put the door there and we can put the machine what we need there the control panel way over here just in case there's any accidents uh, again a fire extinguisher a bin and a and a plant in the corner. That should do it. Doom. I'm not too sure 
Um, who operates that? It might be a nurse or a doctor. Well, obviously. Uh, right, items. We'll make a couple of seats for them as well. Exactly. Who doesn't? Um, is this our first person going to get cured? Oh, waiting to be cured. Here comes the doctor. So it is a doctor that needs to to use it. And we'll see if we can't cure our first person of lightheadedness. <laughs> yeah. Good. That one. That one knows how to uh, knock. Yeah, go on, take a seat. And we'll just unscrew it. And we'll give you a brand new head. There you go. All fixed. That's 8,000. There we go. All cured. <laughs> That's one down. Two more to do. Automated snack machines need restocking manually. <laughs> I hope you're listening to the PA. Uh, uh, she's a crack up, really. Uh, yeah, I think we're doing fairly well at the moment. Oh, we've got two some messages. Uh, complete challenges, item controllers, yep. New illness discovered, how nice. New illness discovered, mystery guts. A light headedness and a staff promotion. Lulu Pomp is ready for promotion from staff, student nurse to junior nurse. Promotion, uh, one training, movement speed, diagnostic, offer a pay rise to keep the staff high. Cu current salary, new salary, so why not? We will promote her. Uh, I think, is that, yeah, you're there, yeah. that's the one in the ward. Uh, can't remember who I hired first. Plants need water. Plants need watering. Mm, dear. Right, so we will have a new janitor. A charmer. A litter of drops. Litter around the hospital. Cries at sitcoms. Uh, the boy next door thinks cartoons are good. Heartthrob. The target of... Um, yep, we'll, we'll hire him. He sounds brilliant. The old man who thinks he's clever. Nurse to general diagnosis. Oh, uh, yeah, we might as well hire a new nurse as well to go in there. Maybe more permanently. Yeah, you do. You will do. What was your name again? Tissus Ross. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. You can see why you can spend ages in a game like this. Just watching everyone getting helped and cured, hopefully. We've we still only done one person. Uh, I think we can increase the speed. Fastest speed. We're making about 35,000. So we're, we are we're good. New head. Punk. That's two. Any more for any more. Ah, it looks like we are keeping up with all his needs and everything, so. Is that another one? Nope. Still waiting for one more person. Are, 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 you, are you tired? He's tired, he's gonna have a set. <sighs> and some cheat its why not? And another doctor takes his place. End of year approaching. Cool, still waiting for one more person with lightheadedness. There we are. Ugh, oh, but the receptionist has run off. 
Come on. A uh, two point health award. Yay. Are we going to win any awards? Open all. Doctor of the Year, Nurse of the Year, and Employee of the Year. Yay. Well, no janitors, no assistant, no deaths. Didn't get any of them. Cool. Right. Done. That's the end of the year. We're still waiting on one more patient to be cured. Sorry, I know you want to break, but I really do need you uh, to get back to work. Just to get that person off. There we go. Just so we can get this done. <laughs> uh, right. You, you can take a break now. Okay, thank you. I'm not mean. Uh, tell you what I will do. I will hire another assistant. Uh, just a cheap one. Uh, becomes nasty when hungry, 10%. Okay, so that's fine. One on, one off, maybe. Well, we'll see what happens, considering we've only got the one reception desk. We don't really need any more than that at the time being. He being diagnosed yet? Yeah, nope, not yet. He's still waiting his turn. It's all a process. And there you go. And he's been sent directly there. And now I think we need to get Doctor in there now, are you heading there? Please tell me you're heading. What? Are you leaving? Don't leave. You waiting to be cured. Stop or reminded to get back to work. Exactly. And off with the bulb. On with the new head. Yay! Dear Hospital Administrator, one star hospital. Congratulations, has been awarded one star out of possible three. Excellent. Continue the development. Excellent. Thank you very much. Uh, lower buttocks and light headedness posters. Okay, cool. Thank you very much, like so. Rise and shine, everyone. And if you happen to be in lower bullocks this morning, Watch out for the gathering of druids down at Brog Ben's ring. In a total coincidence, the town will also pay host to a psychology convention today. Should all work out nicely. So that, so we can now move hospitals, or we can continue on with our uh, normal one. So uh, yeah, I think I'm going to end this here. I hope that you enjoyed this. Do consider picking up the game. It is amusing. This obviously a lot more to it than what I can show uh, but there will probably be plenty of other YouTubers out there doing Doctor games Lee, on this and uh, you know, there, so you'll be able to pick up on one of them uh, so yeah like I say pick up the game for yourself if you feel like it uh, I do highly recommend it it's it's addictive, it's fun it's a business management game with a bit of humour to it uh, so yeah thank you very much for joining me if you did enjoy please remember to hit that like button and I will see you later bye guys <laughs>